Hey guys, so we are going to take a project and we are going to remove this vent and put an AC unit in its place. Now I know what you're thinking. My phone's not wanting to focus. So I know what you're thinking. This is a pretty big project, but in reality it isn't. So what we're gonna do is remove that vent and we're going to put it, replace it with an air condition unit. It's a 13.5 BTU AC unit by Advent that's going to be put on top of the roof. You can see to the right there isn't there is a vent already in here but what we're trying to do is reduce the stress on our main unit so I'm going to actually close off that other vent and uh, so that it isn't using all that air in the back here but I'm only going to do a temporary shut off on it so that just in case we can't use our extra AC we still will we can still make it where we can have air condition back here just haven't figured out how I'm going to do that yet but we're going to get the AC unit in here so what we're going to have to do is remove all this vent uh, and it's a real simple thing just take these four screws off that frame comes down and then you take the vent out and I'll show you a little bit once it's out I'll show you what you have to disconnect so there's the frame that I took down it's just four screws now you can see that the vent is up there the nice thing is I can see all of my rafters and my framing for the roof which is a good thing because that's actually where I'm going to be feeding my wires through uh, I'm gonna be feeding my wires through right there so you will see that in a minute I'm gonna move on to the next step which is going to be removing this vent section all right, the vent section is removed. What you have to do is you have to t unscrew your knob with a Phillips head screwdriver and then this whole screen will drop out. That is how you actually clean out all the little bugs and everything that are in your screens if you don't have your max air covers on there. So now what's left is all you have left is your cover, which we actually have to take off up on the roof. So let's get to that. Okay, so what you can see here is the uh, roof. I'm up on the roof. What I have to do is, is I'm going to have to remove all of the ceiling around it. And, and there are screws that are holding the actual vent into the roof. So then I'll remove those. And then we'll be able to and I'll clean up, make sure there's no sealing it uh, sticking up anywhere. And then we'll be able to set the AC unit right down on top of there, that opening.
Alright, so now what we're going to do, you can see there's a whole bunch of uh, screws holding this plate down. Now that we got the seal off of it, we're going to take that off and what we're going to do is we're going to remove as much of this, uh, this sealing as possible uh, because you don't want it to be creating a reservoir in between the actual seal on the air conditioner and the roof when you get water in there and it just sits there and, and takes some chances of seeping in. So very carefully because of the rubber roof, we don't want to puncture the rubber roof. We're just going to try to take as much of it off as possible, get it as close as I can to the actual rubber roof without going, uh, without puncturing the roof. that's all you want to be very careful to lift this up because you don't want to lift it does have sealing sealing underneath of it so you don't want to lift and rip your rubber roof so we are going to attempt this Got it all, as man, I got it all cleaned off, and now we're just gonna bring the AC unit up and uh, set it down on there, and then it gets tightened from the inside. All right, it is up here. It was pretty excruciating getting it up here, but uh, I recommend at least two people, two ladders, uh, and. Um, Make sure you eat your Wheaties before you do it. So we're gonna go down below now and I'll show you from the inside what it looks like. All right, guys. So here's what it looks like from the inside. So here's your intake uh, right there. And then the exterior, I uh, can't quite see it because of the lighting. But the exterior is right in this corner here, or the ex the output. So that's where the cold air is going to come out. So I'm going to get this mounted in. There's a metal plate that I'm going to put over top of this that has four bolts that hook up and basically sandwich that. There's a, a gasket around the top, and it's going to sandwich that down for us and seal off the roof. And then it will also give us our mounting brackets for everything else that goes in here.
right, so you can see, I just have to tighten it up. There's a metal frame here. There's four very long bolts that go into, they go into the, the AC unit and you sandwich everything together. And that's how it seals it off for you. All right, so there's what it looks like with the cover on and everything installed. Now all I have to do is go to one of the local hardware stores at, uh, one of the local hardware stores and uh, get a few wires and cables that the uh, wires that I need and a small fuse box and then I'll show you what I got and how we're going to install that. All right, so you can see here is my 20 amp service running from my main box and it's actually running through the rafters and I'll show you the, about the direct the path that I took and in all these wires you can see this is cat 5 here this is that cat 5 cable has these the small wires cat 5 is initially designed for uh, your traditional ethernet or telephone wires and that's all you actually need to run through to your thermostat and I'll show you that in a little bit so the cat 5 is also running through the seat through my ceiling rafters and I'll show you uh, where I put the thermostat. And then the only other thing you'll need to do is right here I have, it says 12 volt. There's 12 volt running for your thermostat power. So that I ran up through the rafters and I actually tagged into this light. I dropped the light down and I tagged the wires together uh, so that I have 12 volt to turn on the thermostat. So. I went through the rafters, came up through, and you'll be able to see, I have actually have an excess of Cat5 right now up there, but you can see I came down, uh, there was an existing wire there, which was beneficial, that runs the lights on my wardrobe. So I ran it across, you can see I got a whole bunch I have to just wire together. I'd rather have too much than not enough, because I can actually move the thermostat if I want to. And then it goes down, I, I drilled a hole down inside the, inside the wardrobe, and I came out the wardrobe and then I, ha I have the thermostat here on the wall. It's fairly easy to do. Uh, there's Cat5 wires. All you have to do is connect. But fortunately, this one was labeled pretty well. So the, the eight wires that are, that are in that run the thermostat controls are, are tagged up right to the, the same color and labels up in the main unit. Now we'll go outside and I'll show you what I did out there. All right, so currently uh, I just ran it right out my power out the back. Um, I do have a plug mount that I'm actually going to set up either here or here. That basically looks like this, but it, when you open it up, instead of it being a through hole on the inside, it's actually a um, the connection that I can plug right into it. Uh, which I'll mount that at another time when I have more time, but you can see the Cables run down here. I have 20 couple feet of this just in case I get into an area where it's not super close to my uh, Pole like this one is but what you're gonna see is at the end of this This is a, a 10 10 gauge wire in here. It's three wires uh, You can see what I on the end of it. I put an outlet a male outlet and I actually put a 20 amp end on it the reason I put a 20 amp end on it is so that I can't accidentally put this into a, a traditional like wall house wall plug uh, where they both have the vertical prongs on them because this draws this draws up to 20 amps of service so uh, I forced myself to make it where you can see the one the ones has the flat slant horizontal and the other one has a vertical so all I do there is I have it run out of my out of the rig and then when you get over to your pool this is a traditional standard pool here uh, if you're watching from overseas this is our straight traditional pool uh, when it comes to the United States side but here's what we have um, you're gonna see to the left is a 50 amp, is the traditional 50 amp, and then I have my 30 amp plugged in on my power watchdog surge protector. Uh, keep an eye out, we'll have a review on that in the future. 
and then you have a 20 amp over here which right now I have an extension cord plugged into so you can see I can that's the only type of outlet I can actually plug my this air conditioner into because it has that horizontal and vertical option so that just goes right into that plug in there and one thing that I did is I went with the black cable and made made this extension myself uh, so that I can sort of tuck it back behind my surge protector and it's not quite as visible uh, due to certain because there are certain campgrounds that don't particularly like you to use the 20 and the 30 at the same time so the reason that I upgraded this way was because I can't upgrade my 30 amp to 50 amp in this rig uh, the grim life uh, is another channel they're full timers he's an RV mobile mechanic and he's the one that helped me get this layout as far as the design set up and then I installed it myself but thank you so much to the grim life uh, for giving me this inspiration to do this job and try this out myself so make sure you, uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and also turn our notifications on as we have more videos to come and we do lives. Also right here and right here and right here will be some videos or links to some videos that you'll be able to check out some of our other content. Thanks a lot. Enjoy and God bless.